Well, hey guys, welcome back. And if you're new, thank you so much for stopping by. You're so welcome and appreciate it. Well, today I have something new, guys, a dome tea light candle holder. And guys, this is so cute. I was able to do this with nothing but leftover items. But if you were to put a price tag on it, I guess you can say the base candle holder and the little fish jar or vase would make it $2. So we're going to get into how I made this cute little thing. So these are leftovers. This is from um, from the Hobby Lobby last year that was 50 cents. I was going to use it for a DIY and never did so you know we don't throw anything away if you're a crafter. <laughs> and this was left over from a bottle or something I don't remember but it's my initial and it looks like a snow globe so I'm going to use it as a handle or a knob. Of course one of these from the Dollar Tree and this came off a wood sign. It was like a square um, that said blessed and of course one of these that looks like a fish bowl, but it's not, but that's what I call it. But I know it's just a vase or a jar. So I'm going to take these leftover greenery pieces and I'm just going to hot glue those together. Now those um, square tins that are on those signs that says blessed or whatever have you during the year. I always remove those, but keep those guys because you can use them for other projects and they're very easy to cut with kitchen shears. And that's basically what I did to get that metal round very easy just make sure you don't cut yourself and I'm just going to just take that leftover greenery and wrap it around and hot glue it in place see and now I'm going to go ahead and um, take that little topper now you can use either a regular knob or doorknob or maybe a glass doorknob a lot of people do upcycling and change out the hardware you can use one of those also I'm using this because this is my issue and like I said it looks like a snow globe and I don't throw anything away guys <laughs> now I have to admit I use hot glue here but I went back with E6000 because it fell off a little bit later on it just wasn't holding <laughs> but now you can see where I'm going with this cute thing it's just so adorable now I'm gonna go ahead and take those little berries that are there and I'm going to put them inside but I want them to stay in place I was playing around with it a little bit so what I'm going to do is hot glue them near the base of where the opening is of the jar that I'm going to use for my dome for my candle holder and don't worry about the hot glue because the greenery is going to hide it Now that the hot glue is applied and it dried down, I'm just going to go ahead and spread out those pretty little berries. They look like they have ice and snow on them. They're so festive. I love the way they look. Now I'm going to go ahead and take that bottom part and just hot glue it together. I'm turning it upside down to make sure that it's in the center. See how night nice looks. And once it's secure, I can go ahead and get a tea light or any little candle. I chose the tea light. It's so cute. Isn't that cute, guys? And now all I'm going to do is just add on a little bit of berries from the Dollar Tree. I pulled a little bit off of a pick. It has that same look of ice and snow on it. So I figured it would look perfect. And then I went ahead and added in some tiny little... Um, Oh, what are those things called? Pine cones. <laughs> oh gosh. Added in some little pine cones and there, that's all it needed. So the great thing about this is when you lift it up, it, because you can, you can change out the candle when the battery dies. But guys, this candle holder is nothing but beauty and style. It'll have that classic decorating touch to your home. And it's so inviting with the ambiance 
to your living space and it's just perfect so i hope you guys like this home decor today that i made with this dome and it's on the pedestal if you guys like this diy don't forget to like and subscribe and also please hit the bell for notifications so you'll be notified each and every time i upload a new video thanks so much for watching guys you're so appreciated keep your head up keep moving forward and be blessed i'll see you guys in the next video